In December 2015, a group of tech visionaries united to ensure artificial general intelligence would benefit humanity. This was OpenAI. Founded as a nonprofit, OpenAI aimed to develop safe and beneficial AI through open collaboration. The journey ahead would transform this idealistic startup into one of AI's most influential players. Their innovations, from language models to creative AI, would reshape our understanding of artificial intelligence. Altman co-founded OpenAI in 2015 with the mission of developing AI for the benefit of humanity. As OpenAI grew, so did the tension between its founding ideals and market realities. By late 2024, OpenAI's planned restructuring into a for-profit benefit corporation marked a decisive shift from its nonprofit origins. This is OpenAI's journey from research lab to AI powerhouse, a story of innovation, ethical challenges, and the quest to balance progress with responsibility. Join us as we explore the evolution of one of today's most significant tech companies. OpenAI emerged in 2015 amid growing debate about AI's future impact. Tech leaders Elon Musk and Sam Altman envisioned AI as both humanity's greatest potential and its greatest risk. Uh, but you know, in terms of things that I think are most likely to affect the, the future of humanity, I think um, AI is probably the single biggest item in the near term that's likely to affect uh, humanity. So it's very important that we have the advent of AI uh, in a good way. That, that uh, is something that um, if, you, if you could look into the crystal ball and, and see the future, you would, li you would like that outcome. Um, because it is something that could go, um, could go wrong, um, as we've talked about many times. Um, and so we really need to make sure it goes right. Their vision attracted Silicon Valley's brightest minds. The founding team included Sam Altman from Y Combinator, Elon Musk of Tesla and SpaceX, Greg Brockman from Stripe, and leading AI researcher Ilya Suskiver. Their initial one billion pledge launched an unprecedented initiative. We started OpenAI seven years ago because we felt like something really interesting was happening in AI. We wanted to help steer it in a positive direction. It's honestly just really amazing to see how far this whole field has come since then. The early years saw rapid innovation and commitment to open source development, producing significant projects like OpenAI Gym and GPT-1. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer that just rolls right off the right tongue. Right off the tongue. Yeah, we really named that well, you know. How does it work? By ingesting a huge amount of text, you know, a significant fraction of the internet, this AI system can learn the underlying representations of what these words mean, how they relate, do a little bit of something that is sort of like reasoning, sort of like understanding what you as a user want some of the time, not always, not perfectly, and try to help you. But even as OpenAI made strides in AI research, challenges emerged. The nonprofit structure made it difficult to compete for top talent, with tech giants offering lucrative stock options. By 2018, cracks were beginning to show in OpenAI's original vision. Elon Musk stepped down from the board, citing potential conflicts of interest with Tesla's AI development. OpenAI stood ready for transformation, though few could predict the scale of changes ahead. 2019 brought OpenAI to a pivotal moment as its nonprofit structure began limiting its competitive edge. In March of that year, OpenAI announced a radical shift in its structure. The company would create a new capped profit entity called OpenAI LP, while the original nonprofit would retain overall control. We started as a nonprofit. Um, we learned early on that we were going to need far more capital than we were able to raise as a nonprofit. This hybrid model was unprecedented in the tech world. It allowed OpenAI to attract investment and talent while theoretically maintaining its commitment to its original mission. The structure capped investor returns at 100 times their investment, with excess profits flowing to the nonprofit entity. Sure. What is the structure? Can you help us understand what exactly does it look yeah, like? Yeah, so there's like a nonprofit that has a board that governs this thing that we call a capped profit. 
where our investors can make a certain return. Um, but if we ever need to make a decision that is in favor of societal good, but not in favor of our shareholders, we're set up to do that. The change sparked both criticism and support throughout the tech community. But the most significant outcome of this transition was yet to come. In July 2019, Microsoft announced a $1 billion investment in OpenAI, marking the beginning of a deep partnership between the two companies. Simply put, Microsoft loves OpenAI. The deal provided important computing resources while giving Microsoft privileged access to OpenAI's innovations. With new capital and computing power, OpenAI accelerated its ambitious agenda. The stage was set for unprecedented advancement, though ethical challenges loomed on the horizon. OpenAI's new structure catalyzed a period of remarkable innovation that would reshape AI's possibilities. The GPT series became their flagship achievement, setting new standards in natural language processing. GPT-2's 2019 release proved so advanced that OpenAI initially withheld the full version. Uh, I think people should be happy that we're a little bit scared of this. I think people should be You're happy. a little bit scared. A little bit, yeah, You of personally. I think if I said I were not, you should either not trust me or be very unhappy I'm in this job. GPT-3 followed in 2020 with 175 billion parameters, demonstrating unprecedented capabilities in text generation and coding. But OpenAI wasn't content with just conquering text. In 2021, the company unveiled Dolly, an AI system capable of creating images from text descriptions. ChatGPT's release in November 2022 marked their most significant breakthrough yet. Built on the GPT 3.5 architecture, ChatGPT was a conversational AI that could engage in human-like dialogue, answer questions, and perform a wide range of language tasks. ChatGPT became a global phenomenon, reaching 100 million users in just two months. It sparked discussions about the future of work, education, and the role of AI in society. But as this technology advances, we understand that people are anxious about how it could change the way we live. We are too. But we believe that we can and must work together to identify and manage the potential downsides so that we can all enjoy the tremendous upsides. March 2023 brought GPT-4 its most advanced language model yet. And over the course of 2024, OpenAI gradually rolled out GPT-4.0, introducing groundbreaking multimodal capabilities. It was able to understand and analyze both text and images. The system's visual processing abilities opened new frontiers in AI applications. Early 2024 saw Sora's debut, their revolutionary text-to-video AI. This groundbreaking system could create highly realistic, detailed videos from simple text descriptions. Sora demonstrated unprecedented mastery of physics, motion, and complex scene generation. These achievements across text, image, and video positioned OpenAI at AI's cutting edge, while intensifying debates about AI safety and ethics. But amid these triumphs, OpenAI faced its greatest internal challenge yet. November 2023 brought unprecedented turmoil when OpenAI's board suddenly fired CEO Sam Altman. The board cited communication issues, though deeper reasons remained unclear. The aftermath was swift. President Greg Brockman resigned and employees threatened mass exodus. Microsoft, with its $13 billion investment at stake, found itself caught in the crisis. A very fast moving and dramatic last 72 to 48 hours. And I want to start with the state of play. Where are we now? OpenAI says it's hired a new CEO. We're reporting there are efforts to get Sam Altman back. Tell us where things stand. On Friday morning, uh, we were very excited, committed, and confident in our innovation roadmap to bring this next generation of AI to our customers. Um, and we feel fantastic and, and capable of doing that. Uh, and we were partnered with OpenAI, and we were partnered with Sam. 
Five dramatic days followed, keeping the tech world in suspense. While Altman nearly joined Microsoft, mounting pressure forced a stunning reversal. November 22nd saw Altman reinstated as CEO, with most board members replaced. Questions lingered about the board's motivations and OpenAI's direction. Board member now going public with the first detailed backstory behind Sa CEO Sam Altman's dramatic ousting last fall. Our Deirdre Bosa has the story in today's Tech Check. Deirdre, this is bound to come out. For the first time, a former board member is speaking out. Helen Toner was one of the OpenAI members behind the coup. And on a podcast, she pointed to a toxic atmosphere, psychological abuse, sketchy safety processes, and accuses Altman of outright lying. The crisis exposed fundamental tensions between OpenAI's idealistic mission and commercial ambitions. Less than a year after the leadership crisis, OpenAI would make a decision that would fundamentally alter its structure and mission. A move that would mark the final step in its journey from nonprofit to corporate powerhouse. September 2024 marked OpenAI's final evolution so far as it announced its transition to a complete for profit model. Hey, David, yeah, a lot happening with OpenAI in the last 24 hours. It right now is in the process of pivoting from being a nonprofit to what's known as a benefit corporation. This is according to a source familiar with the matter. It comes as the company wraps up what could be the largest private funding round in history, at least the biggest in recent memory. It would value OpenAI at $150 billion. That's again according to a source familiar who also tells me that Sam Altman will now get equity in this company for the first time. The reasons for the shift were multifaceted. OpenAI cited the need to attract and retain top talent, the ability to raise more capital, and the flexibility to compete in an increasingly crowded AI landscape. But perhaps the most significant factor was the company's amazing growth and the commercial success of its products like ChatGPT. Reports suggested that OpenAI was in talks to raise funds at a valuation of $150 billion. According to the Bloomberg report, Sam Altman's going to get his equity finally 7%. That would put him at around $10.5 billion if this is all true. And OpenAI could be valued as high as $150 billion. But the move was not without its critics. Some saw it as a betrayal of OpenAI's original mission and principles. OpenAI attempted to address these concerns by structuring itself as a public benefit corporation, a for-profit entity that is legally obligated to consider the public good alongside shareholder interests. The original nonprofit retained a minority stake to maintain its mission alignment. In December 2024, OpenAI unveiled O3, a leap beyond its predecessor O1, focusing on, on integrated logical reasoning for coding, math, and science. It tripled O1's accuracy on the ARC AGI benchmark and achieved a new high on the abstraction and reasoning corpus. O3 uses a private chain of thought process, increasing response times but improving problem solving depth. In the same month, OpenAI finally opened up Sora, their AI video generator, to public use. OpenAI's journey reflects our collective relationship with artificial intelligence, our ambitions, concerns, and hopes. From its idealistic beginnings as a nonprofit in 2015 to its evolution into a for profit AI powerhouse. OpenAI has been at the forefront of some of the most significant developments in artificial intelligence. Their innovations, GPT, DALI, ChatGPT, have fundamentally altered our technological landscape. As AI systems grow more sophisticated, their decisions carry increasing weight for humanity's future. OpenAI's transition to a for-profit model highlights the tension inherent in AI development. Can a company pursue groundbreaking research and commercial success while staying true to lofty ideals of benefiting all of humanity? The challenges they face, from legal battles to safety concerns, mirror the broader AI industry's struggles. OpenAI's story represents our era's central challenge, harnessing AI's potential while maintaining human agency. 
The questions they faced extend beyond technology. They touch the very future of human civilization. Their legacy will be judged not just by technological achievements, but by how they navigate the profound ethical challenges ahead. The next chapter remains unwritten, and we all share in its authorship.